Two more games for the Badgers this week, including the Big Ten opener in East Lansing against Michigan State. And then they step out of conference in a big way again, taking on the top-ranked Arizona Wildcats out in Tucson. We'll check out the highlights from both of those games. We'll sit down with Badgers graduate student Tyler Wall, and we'll have our weekly chat with Greg Gard talking about the two recruits who are signed and ready to join the program next season. All coming up on this week's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Line left will inbound to Blackwell. He has KJ Lewis. Blackwell sent it to Tyler Wall, being hounded by Bradley near half court. Now it's Store flipping to Hepburn outside left. Shot clock at 10. Hepburn off the foul screen. Chucky to the free throw line. A bounce for Blackwell. Left corner three. Book it. John Blackwell with a triple. Hepburn going to Blackwell. Right corner three is good. First from the left, then from the right. 21 19 Arizona. He going to Gilmore. Left of the circle. Feeds Hepburn off the winter screen. A throw back to Nolan. He'll try three. Yes, sir, from up high. And that's what you're talking about with Big Steve. They have the ability to kind of do that. Yeah. Now there's just some more space. Nolan steps in, knocks it out. This is Wisconsin basketball. And Wall with a steal. Tyler with the pump. Down the lane. Slam dunk. Three on one. Flips the store. Down the lane. And he hammers it with the right hand. With two. Hepburn down. Off the glass. Off the glass. He slipped it in the crowd. Low on the left. Slam dunk. Another three-point hit for Connor is Seijin. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group, Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com And by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at hy V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the hy V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the hy V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store-wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for hy V Perks. It's free and easy. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Fans on their feet here, set point. In the first, here's Ashburn to serve. Oregon passing two. Izzy goes at Gonzalez. Pass off to the right into the back row. And the attack by Lewis goes wide from the right side. And Wisconsin wins the opening set. That's one set down, two to go to the final four. Right side here is Lewis winding up, up and over the block. Touched by TG. Saved by Ojo. Gooch tech and saves it. Does she have enough to get it over from just off the court? It almost falls. It's flipped over by Oregon. We play on right side spray. Oh, two shots. Oh my goodness. GG's left handed serve goes over. Nice pass to. Oh, and there's a block, but no Collier. Popped it up.
it up and flipped it over. Wisconsin kept it alive. Franklin with a shot at Gonzalez. We play on. That was almost Roof. Oh. Six foot nine and a spray. 24 18. Oregon serving left to right. Wisconsin passing three. It goes into the net. And Wisconsin has a ticket to Tampa. The Badgers are back in the final four as Wisconsin out battles Oregon. And for the sixth time in program history, they're headed to the national semifinals. We believe in education, we believe in public schools. We believe in financial security for Wisconsin public school employees and their families. WEA Member Benefits, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. WEABenefits.com My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked Mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. Pepper and high screen from Crow. Five seconds. Chucky turns it out to store. Fakes the three. Takes the three. Left side. Drilled it at the buzzer. AJ Store with his second triple. And the Badgers go into the locker room up by 11. Here's AJ Store for three. Right of the circle. Off the rim and in. AJ Store, his third three of the night. 59 to 50, Wisconsin, 608 to play. Against Holloman, Chucky on the right side. Shot clock is at five, Crow for three, up top, book it. Steven Crow, another triple, 66-52, Wisconsin with 245 to play. And Michigan State is laying off as the Wisconsin Badgers will do something that has not been done ever by Wisconsin basketball. That's come to the Breslin Center and beat Michigan State not once, not twice, but three times in a row as the clock hits zero here in East Lansing. The Badgers win it by 13. It was a few weeks ago where the Badgers got their sign letters of intent from the next recruiting class, but it's our first chance on this platform to hear from the head coach about the two Badgers who will be first enjoying their senior years of high school, but then coming in to the University of Wisconsin. Talking about Jack Robison specifically out of Lakeville and uh, Daniel Freetag, another Minneapolis guy. Let's start with uh, let's start with Jack first. Uh, what do you know, Lakeville North? Yeah, <laughs> another great addition. Another to a great program. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and then, you know Jack six 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 seven, left-handed. Kind of reminds us of Tyler Wall in terms of how hard he plays and. He's kind of everywhere, everywhere you look where there's a play being made, he's involved with it. So he's someone that we identified pretty early. Um, and obviously I think he felt the same fit with us and just he envisioned himself here if he was gonna be at this level and um, you know was able to actually commit at the start of his junior year. So he, um, he he's on a really good team again in Lakeville North. Uh, he'll be obviously the leader there, one of the best players in the state of Minnesota. And you mentioned the fit. It's on the court and off. And I think you mentioned in the release, it comes from a family of educators. So they yes. know the importance of yep. everything involved. Mom in the and dad world. are both teachers. Um, yeah, so they, they understand. I think that's in large part, you know, one of the attractions of as we recruit that area and we have for years and will continue to is that they, it's the whole package that we sell here. It's not, it's, it's basketball, but it's bigger than basketball. And, and the Robinson family definitely appear or appreciates all of that. With Daniel, that, that was, um, I mean, somebody who had a lot of attention. There was a lot of media attention. What's he going to do? Cause he's a really good football player too. Right. Take us through that process. Cause it seems like just reading his quotes, you guys have struck up a really, really good relationship. Yeah. He's, you know, we, somebody we started recruiting when he was a freshman. Remember him coming in with his, AAU team to our team camp in the summer. You could just tell just personality, you know, the personality exudes out of him just, and you, you were hoping that he was gonna become a good enough player to match his personality. And probably, I don't know, he's an unbelievable personality. He might be a better player, uh, but just how he just blossomed, you know, and and has a awesome, a great head on his shoulders. A lot like uh, Jordan Taylor, really reminds me personality wise. Uh, just really sharp, 
Um, but electric athletically, uh, playing at the point guard. He was a wide receiver, as you mentioned, in football and decided really his his love was basketball. We had many conversations about which way it would go and would he even try to do both. I think he really realized in today's world doing both is impossible. So locked in on basketball. And fortunately, we were, like I said, had a, an awesome relationship with him. He's a terrific kid from a terrific family. Mom has done a great job of raising him and, and balancing a lot, and uh, happy when I got that phone call. Yeah, you've had a fair amount of quarterbacks here through the years, so a receiver. First wide receiver, yeah. yeah. But you like you like the guys who play, you know, if it's football, whatever. You like guys right. participating in other sports when they can. Yeah, I think it just adds so much more to your overall, who you are as a person, the experiences you get, the teamwork that comes in with it. Uh, obviously, football has its own things that it adds with the toughness and having to practice in hot and very cold weather. So I, I just think there's a lot of good. We, there's so much specialization now going on. And I really, whenever younger people ask me for advice, I say don't specialize until you absolutely have to try to go. I've never seen anybody really have opportunities roadblock because they didn't specialize. If you're going to be good enough in something, you're you're pretty it'll be pretty obvious you're going to be good enough in it i mentioned the relationship so you with the way daniel described he said he would play if it was a different sport different school he would like to play for you that's that's a nice thing for him to say that's be a great thing to hear john blackwell i talked with him and he said this it was a similar thing with when you would talk with him it wasn't always about basketball it's just you know how are things going school this that or the other as much as the world is changing now with with nil we all get it there's still a component to recruiting that can't change, I guess, right? Yeah, you have to get to know them as people. And I think that's one thing I try to probably more so in recruiting, talk less about basketball and more about life in terms of how your class is going. Why, what's, which one's kicking your butt? You know, which one are you, which, what, what's your favorite? Um, and just try to learn more about them. And, and sometimes you offer, you find yourself offering some guidance and some, some mentoring even before they during the recruiting process what classes to take hey you should be taking a foreign language because here's what will require at wisconsin and here's where it can help you down the road in your career so just all those things because everybody talks to them about basketball i'll I'll chop it up a little bit on their game too and critique that form if they want but really trying to dive in more to the their personal side and their personal life and and talk to them about life outside of basketball and the advice that you and bo ryan would say the same thing you want these guys to enjoy now right we'll you know they can't wait to get you right. but enjoy right now that's really important isn't it? it it's it's paramount that they enjoy now because next will come so fast and i tell them when they get here don't worry about next whether it's professional opportunities or moving up in the ranks here it will come fast enough it will it will fly by and usually when you have you know the external the parents and people that are around them and their decisions sitting in the room when i say that i get a lot of head nods like you know mom and moms and dads know how time flies (laughs) and and things go by really quickly so just understanding hey enjoy this stay where your feet are and and soak it all in look forward to watching those guys look forward to their senior years but jack robinson and daniel freetag badgers to be and being a big part of this tradition here at the university of wisconsin we'll take a break more to come as we continue with the badger sports report after a serious accident you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve we're here for you whenever you need us Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Bananas are only 39 cents a pound at High V. That's not a sale price. That's the price with the High V Perks membership. And 39 cents a pound is not just a price today or this week. It's the Perks price every day. With the High V Perks membership, you can save on hundreds of products store wide every time you shop and count on Perks prices to stay the same. So if you want to pay less for bananas every day, sign up for High V Perks. It's free and easy. WEA member benefits dedicated to helping Wisconsin public school employees become financially secure with programs designed for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. Always the blend of the young guys being helped along by the veterans. We heard from John Blackwell. We've enjoyed watching these young guys. Nolan Winter, obviously. A.J. Store, newcomer from St. John's. And you got the veteran guys like Tyler Wall showing them all the way. Tyler uh, joins us right now. What's the what's the best piece of advice that you give these young guys when they come in? It could be A.J. who's a sophomore. He's He knows the college game. But, if, you know, if it's a Blackwell winter, all the young guys, what's the best 
advice you'd give them? Um, I feel like I've said this for a few years now, um, especially to the freshmen where um, you, come into the, you come into the program, you're used to being the guy, you're used to always kind of, oh, you mess up, turn it over, you don't really get yelled at too much or you'll, you'll just get talked to. Um, and then you come here and it might be a little different. So one thing that I usually tell these, tell these young guys is, Listen to coach, take the message, and maybe not necessarily the way that he's presenting it to you. So I think that's the number one thing that I say to them. It seems like they do a pretty good job of that, too. I mean, the way that they have performed here so far, they're listening to you. It sounds like, are, are they? It seems like they are. I mean, shoot, I try to tell them some things. Some things they listen, some things go in, the, in one ear, out the other, for sure. That leadership thing, I know I talked to Max Klesman about that before the season, his second year here, but you can see he kind of coaches on the floor I get a sense that you've you've really kind of embraced that role yourself. You, Chucky, Stevie, am I seeing that right? I mean, yeah. Well, when you've been here for a few years, you know how, how things are supposed to look, um, both offensively and defensively. You know, you're supposed to take care of the ball. So uh, when you see things that aren't really necessarily right, it could be a young guy messing it up or a transfer or even one of the older guys. Like me and Max the other day, we, def we had like a conversation on the bench in the middle of the game, um, just going over something. And so I think it's a big key to communicate those things. Um, and yeah, one of the things that you guys seem to have a, a knack for right now is not panicking when things aren't going well. You kind of stay with it. I think of the SMU game down in Fort Myers where the shot, the outside shot, wasn't falling, and then eventually it did. But you guys were, were finding other ways. I, that's a pretty good sign of a mature team. Um, you guys take a lot of pride in that, right? Just kind of sticking with the plan, do what you need to I do. I mean, yeah. Last year we we saw it. we were in a bunch of games at the end, and that was just from sticking to the plan. And now we got. A few more guys off the bench. Um, we got a deeper team, and so now when we get in those situations, we feel like we've been there before. Uh, we got a lot of older guys with a lot of experience, and so um, it's just another walk in the park. I know we've seen you. Um, there's always every team has wrinkles. We're, we're seeing you in a, some attack mode right now, all offensively, as opposed to back to the basket. I mean, that, that's probably right in your wheel. I mean, either way, it can work, but. This attack thing is probably right in your wheelhouse, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's a little more fun, especially uh, when they give me a little space. I can kind of get a run and start at them. Um, and at that point, I feel like I've, I've done my time in the weight room. I've done my time in the gym. Um, and at that point, you just got to trust your instincts and go make a play. Yeah, it feels good to feel good, too, right? I mean, did you ever, after what happened or with, the, with the injury in early January, were you even close to 100% the rest of the way? I mean, you, you played through a lot right. last year. Um, I mean... At the, at the time, I didn't really know where you feel like you're, you're all right, you're good to go. If I can, if I can walk, like I'm, I'm good. You're going to catch me in between those lines. Um, but taking a couple weeks off, um, getting my body right, getting in the training room, all kinds of stuff. Um, I feel like a couple weeks after when it all settled down, I knew I was coming back and everything. Um, it just felt like a cloud lift, and that was cloud lifted from above my head. And that's, and that's just um, rest, being healthy again, um, and not really having the stress of everything else that's going on along yeah. with the injury. Yeah, I was going to say, once it, once that decision is made, that's a great point because, you know, obviously Chucky and, and guys across the country, once the decision is made and it's just go time, you are going to stay here in Wisconsin, that is like, you know, like, wow, fresh air, like a big a big load off your shoulders where you could just go be a college guy, go, go play and have fun again, right? Big 100%. relief. 100%. I mean, this is where I wanted to be, and so – um, having the stress of just the decision itself, that lifted off my shoulders, um, and then just the joy of enjoying another year here, um, seeing all my teammates, all my all my coaches, have my family be able to come to the game again, um, just overall joy, and so I think that helped a little bit too. You can take it in a little bit more even now. I mean, you always try to take it in, but I get the impression. I mean, I talk to your folks. Like you're really trying to embrace everything that goes with this, yeah. maybe more than ever. Right? I mean, for sure. I know. We finished running that hill, and I definitely gave it one last <laughs> look coming down where I was like, oh, I'd never have to run this again. <laughs> also, is it next year just for fun? You're not going to do that? I, I can't I can't believe that. I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> I was talking to uh, Kamari McGee about the, the, the schedule you guys have is something. I mean, for a fan, it's, it's unbelievable. I think players live for this, too. But you're always learning about yourself. And he said one of the things he's learned is that you can compete with anybody. Like when you guys are clicking, that seems like a pretty fair answer, right? When you guys, are, nobody has to be superhuman necessarily, but when you're playing to the capabilities each individual has, you, feel, you guys feel like you can match up with anybody on your schedule, don't you? Yeah, I mean, I feel like when you got five guys out there um, and they're all bought into doing what's good for the team, um, that just gives not only the players confidence, not only the coaches confidence, but I feel like everyone in the arena. And then we just kind of build off of that. Uh, we've, we've, seen our, we've seen ourselves stick around with these good teams. 
um, and also beat a few good teams. And then we're just going to continue to keep keep looking, keep that rolling. It seems like a, one of the beauty part of the beauty of this team. We all know that Chucky's a great closer, and he's never afraid to take the big shot. But there's a lot of guys here, and yourself included, or double-digit scores per game. I mean, you know, Chucky will obviously have his opportunities, but it's kind of good to know that, right? It could be you, it could be Max, it could be Stevie. The opponents got a, they got a lot on their plate trying to figure out who's going to take the big shot. Don't they? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think that's just, I think that just speaks to how good Chucky is. I mean, he, he's out there controlling the game most of the time. Um, and then I feel like when it gets down to that crunch time, defenders don't really want to help out too much. So it's really Chucky one on one. And so uh, I'm sure I'm sure we'll get teams mixing it up where they'll throw some guys at them or help out a little bit. Um, and it's just going to be on us to make some plays. It, it's, you know, Coach Guard mentioned this over the over the summer. I mean, you've been a part of two Big Ten championship teams. As we talk, it's really early, but that's a carrot, isn't it? I mean, if you right. you could. If you have a chance to be maybe like a party of one to be a part of something like that, that's pretty intriguing, isn't it? I mean, yeah, that is really exciting. I mean, that's always our goal every year, um, win the Big Ten, make it to the tournament, and make a deep run. And so uh, it's still intact. Goal is still intact. We're going to keep <laughs> keep keep going at it, um, and it's just going to be every day. And so we're going to have to come in here every day, work hard, push each other, um, whether that's the guys on the scout team, whether it's the guys off the bench. We're just going to have to show up and get it done every single day. And as a team last year, it, yeah, obviously you want to get in the NCAA tournament, but you guys played well in the NIT. You made a deep run there. When you looked back on it, thinking, okay, this was this was good. This was good for us to keep playing, keep being around each other, and see how far we could take it. A lot more positives than negatives out of that, weren't there? Yeah, 100%, especially coming out of that that Big Ten tournament. We didn't, we haven't been playing the best ball. We'd lost a few straight. Um, so just kind of building that momentum back up um, and pushing it into this year um, was a huge thing for us. Final question about the young guys. Um, obviously, John Blackwell's made quite an impression. Um, with then Nolan Winter and then it, all the all the guys, all the new guys. Has there been anybody that, when you first were, you know, working out over the summer to now, is there somebody who's like, wow, better than I thought? Knew he knew he was good, but even yeah. better than I thought. Um, I think a guy who's not going to really get a whole lot of credit, or you're not going to hear about, is Jack Janicki, um, the walk, the freshman walk-on for our squad. Um, he shows up, he pushes us every single day. He's got a good basketball mind. Um, he works hard in the weight room, works hard in school, and so you're just going to, I feel like at that point, you're just going to continue to see him grow and grow um, and maybe eventually start playing it a little bit. So There you go. It's good to know. By the way, I'd say I'm going to cheat one more question on top of that. Janicki is, is not from Lakeville North, Minnesota guy, but obviously that remains a, to be, it remains a great program for the Badgers, including Jack Robinson coming here next year. I asked Nolan this. What, why is that such a good program? What makes your old high school so good um i feel like our head coach does a great job um involving the youth and putting on youth camps early on um when you're in when you're in kindergarten and first grade when there's maybe not a whole lot of basketball camps going on um he'll have a couple of days throughout the summer where it's it's their time it's the kindergartner and the first graders and then the camps just keep ramping up and up as you get older and along with that like he's a great coach and he's got he's kind of kind of got the same philosophies as he does as coach guard does here um, and so I think that transition um, from Lakeville North over to here is pretty pretty easy. Yep, the Lakeville North connection real strong right now. It's going to continue that way in the future. He's Tyler Wall. We'll take a break. More to come on the Badger Sports Report. I had big dreams. Then I got sick. UW Health made it their mission to give me a fresh start and a new kidney. Now my dreams are infinite. UW Health. Remarkable. These are operating engineers. They operate top of the line innovative machines and build stuff that matters. And operating engineers are well paid. They even get paid to train. As an apprentice, you can make $56,000 a year from day one during training. No school loans and no debt. When your training is complete, you'll have a stable career job that is high skill, high tech, and high pay. We need operating engineers right now. Your future can begin today. After a serious accident, you'll need a team to fight for the results you deserve. We're here for you whenever you need us. Groover Law Offices, proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. The Badger Sports Report is presented by UW Health. UW Health Sports Medicine, treating the Badgers, treating you. And is brought to you by the Construction Business Group. Wisconsin operating engineers and respected contractors. BuildingWisconsinTogether.com. 
and by Gruber Law Offices, a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. One call, that's all. Just one game on the schedule this week for the Badgers, a Thursday night matchup here at the Kohl Center against Jacksonville State. We'll talk to you next week. Thanks for watching. This has been a presentation from Learfield. I've always been a storyteller. I capture those beautiful moments, things other people miss. My health took an unexpected turn, but my care team put my needs in focus, designing solutions to support my ambitions. Now that's just a footnote in my journey, a small part of a story that's still being written. UW Health, remarkable. We believe in education. We believe in public schools. At WEA Member Benefits, we believe in helping Wisconsin public school employees and their families achieve their financial goals by providing personal insurance, retirement and investment, and financial planning programs that are designed specifically for the education community. Proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics, weabenefits.com. My favorite breakfast is Odyssey yogurt. I asked mommy where it comes from and she took me to a dairy farm to learn all about milk and most importantly, cows. Wisconsin cows are definitely the happiest, which means they make the tastiest yogurt. My favorite is blueberry. What's your flavor? Support your local farmers. E-I-E-I -E -I Odyssey.